Though Hayek began his lifelong fascination with economics by reading socialist planning literature, the decisive influence for Hayek finally came from the liberal free market economic tradition of the Austrian School of Economics, located at the University of Vienna. A prestigious lineage of economic mentors and pupils, including Karl Menger, Eugen von Bumba Werk, Friedrich von Wieser, and Ludwig von Mises, were Hayek's formative influences. Menger was the teacher of both Bumba Werk and Wieser, while Mises was subsequently a student of Bumba Werk. Hayek would learn from all four of these elder Austrian economists in different capacities throughout his life. Karl Menger is considered the most original thinker of the Austrian school of economics. Both Hayek and Mises, who are today themselves considered giants of the Austrian school, credit Karl Menger with almost single-handedly opening a new era in the history of economic thought with his book Principles of Economics, published in 1871. Hayek considered one of Menger's greatest contributions in principles to be his individualist or subjectivist approach, which located the focus of all economic activity in the actions, decisions, values, and knowledge of individuals. In 1883, Menger published another work, entitled Investigations into the Methods of the Social Sciences, with special reference to economics. In this work, Menger posed a question which Hayek considered one of the most pressing questions facing economics, if not all of the social sciences, which was, how can institutions which serve the common welfare emerge without a common will aiming at their creation? Menger insisted that it was an error to reduce all institutions to acts of positive common will, and that institutions were in fact unintended creations. Menger wrote, Natural organisms almost without exception exhibit, when closely observed, a really admirable functionality of all parts with respect to the whole, a functionality which is not, however, the result of human calculation, but of a natural process. Similarly, we can observe in numerous social institutions a strikingly apparent functionality with respect to the whole, but with closer consideration, they still do not prove to be the result of an intention aimed at this purpose, i.e. the result of an agreement of members of society. They, too, present themselves rather as natural products. Hayek derived an important insight from Menger's work. At a time when the socialists and Marxists of the day were insisting that economies needed to be deliberately planned and coordinated to achieve both prosperity and a just distribution of resources, Menger hinted that institutions like the government and the economy were simply not the result of coordination, but rather of a spontaneously generated sum of decisions by disconnected individuals acting in concert, which Hayek later likened to an unconscious process of evolution. The next two great influences on Hayek were Wieser and Bumba Werk, who were both students and colleagues of Menger at the University of Vienna. These two men were brothers-in-law and lifelong friends, and Bumba Werk, as we recall, was also a close friend of Hayek's maternal grandfather, Franz von Jeraschek. Bumba Werk was a steadfast adherent of Menger, and was the most well-known Austrian economist of the time thanks to his long career as a leading Austrian statesman. Bumbavark's face actually appeared on the 100 shilling banknote from 1984 until the euro was introduced in 2002. Bumbavark is notable for his early and explicit conflicts with Marxist economic thought. Each of Bumbavark's major economic works included criticisms of Marx, including Marx's exploitation theory and Marx's theory of labor value. Bumbavark and his successors' early skirmishes with Marxism established the Austrian school as a persistent adversary of socialism.